Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is a primary heart disease uh, characterized by unexplained left ventricular hypertrophy independent of uh, load conditions. Uh, clinical assessment of this disease is very, very difficult because it's insensitive and unspecific. And so after the clinical ex examination, lots of questions remain. We use imaging to answer to all those questions, and imaging really helps us a lot. Uh, usually patients come to us with an unexplained left ventricular hypertrophy in an imaging technique, with ECG, echo or CMR, and uh, the first thing we have to do uh, is to decide if these patients have sarcomeric hypertrophic cardiomyopathy or if they have phenocopies. And here we use uh, multimodality imaging uh, tests to, to detect that. Uh, it is very important to know that there are several red flags, imaging red flags, electrocardiographic red flags, and imaging red flags that may point us to a specific direction and will help us in a specific and correct diagnosis. Once you have uh, detected that, that hypertrophy is a sarcomeric hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, uh, it's very important to know what to assess exactly. And you have to detect first uh, in, which in which phase of the natural history of the disease the patient is. Uh, patients may, ha may be mutation carriers, they may have early non-hypertrophic phenotypes, they may have classical phenotypes, adverse remodeling and also over dysfunction phenotypes. But on the other hand, and second point, it's very important to uh, determine determinate the um, clinical staging of the disease where the patient is. Some patients are asymptomatic and are, have a benign uh, evolution and even those patients, they should do exams, they should do an echo and a CMR, it is mandatory. But when the patients are symptomatic, uh, specifically in the classical phenotype, uh, they may have, as I said, several clinical profiles and we have to assess them. One clinical profile is the sudden cardiac death profile, and in this profile we use ECHO and CMR as first line, uh, first line techniques. Other type of uh, clinical presentation is obstruction and ECHO comes again as the first line technique to assess obstruction. Um, the third uh, clinical phenotype is uh, the atrial fibrillation or and stroke phenotype and again ECHO is the first line technique assessing the LA uh, volume and uh, also uh, LA function with strain even though strain assessment of the LA is still a research tool. Some of the patients came to us with uh, heart failure with the preserved ejection fraction. These are usually uh, non-obstructive patients and uh, again, ECHO is the first line technique trying to assess uh, not only if the patient has diastolic dysfunction, but also and more importantly, if they have uh, increased left ventricle or filling pressures. Uh, and finally, uh, the last profile is the, over t the heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. And again, ECHO is the first line, te line technique. Uh, and in the another end of the spectrum of these patients, some patients need uh, to have septal reduction therapy, some obstructive patients, and here imaging also is very important in the assessment uh, and in the selection to uh, which is the best technique in each of uh, uh, these types of treatment. For instance, when you want to decide uh, what is better, uh, surgery, uh, which is myectomy or alcohol septal ablation, uh, after echo you also should uh, perform a CMR and after to determine which is the better uh, 
technique of septal reduction uh, therapy. During myectomy, transesophageal echo is a mandatory technique, and uh, during uh, alcohol septal ablation, uh, intracoronary echo, uh, injecting uh, contrast agents in the septal branch that we have selected is mandatory and it is state of the art. So, this is an overview of the um, importance of selecting the correct choice uh, in each patient, but I would say that in each patient echo is always a mandatory technique, is always the first technique. Uh, cardiac magnetic resonance is uh, also indicated in all patients and cardiac CT and nuclear imaging tests, they have a smaller but also important role in these patients, uh, providing uh, specific and very important as answers to certain important clinical questions that are not answered by ECHO uh, and not, not answered by uh, CMR. Thank you very much.